And I thought it would be good for us to be reminded of some of the foundational ideas about why we study the Bible the way we do in this church. We don't do a lot of topical type teaching in this church where we would choose a topic and then find verses from all over the Bible that talk about that topic. That kind of teaching can be really helpful sometimes, but there is a potential danger in that approach. The Bible can become a collection of life principles rather than a grand overarching story of God interacting with and redeeming people. Most of the teaching that we do here at this church is what's called expositional. We take a book of the Bible and we teach through it from start to finish, placing it in its historical, cultural context of the time that it was written and in relationship to the rest of the Bible. We don't focus on life principles that can be found in the text. We focus on the story of God's relationship with us. Big difference in the approach. Life principles can help us be better people if we follow those principles. And that's certainly something that we want and need to work at in life. But life principles cannot and will not save us. We need the life-transforming touch of God's Spirit. We need to know Jesus Christ. We need to be in relationship with God who made us and who will change us Himself from the inside out as we spend time with Him and allow Him to have more and more access to us. See, I don't like this reductionist approach to Christianity that is taught and practiced so widely in our day. Boiling our relationship with God down to sets of principles, I think is insulting to God. How would you like it if your significant other did that with your relationship with them? You would be insulted if they started carrying on their relationship with you by reducing it down to five easy steps for this and six simple steps for that. You'd be insulted. Your relationship is far more complex, deep, meaningful than that. See, God's primary objective is not to make us better people. That's not really what He's after. He's not trying to make you and I, nicer people. God's primary objective is for you and me to know Him, to love Him, to be in ever-growing relationship with Him. We will become better, nicer, more loving, selfless people as a byproduct of being in close relationship with God. Here's an illustration the closer you get to a significant source of radiation, and the longer you remain close to that source of radiation, the more radioactive you become. Your body absorbs more and more radiation. And in a similar way, but in a good, life-producing way, instead of a bad, life-threatening way, the closer we get to God and the more time we spend with God, the more Christ-like we become. We absorb more and more Jesus, becoming more and more like Him. We are in such a hurry all the time. We're always looking for immediate results and quick solutions. But a rich, beautiful, Christ-like soul is not built in a few weeks, or a few months, or even a few years. It takes a lifetime. It takes a lifetime. It's a long, steady walk. It is a lifelong journey. I want to encourage us, let's slow down inside and take the hand of our loving Father, the shepherd of our soul, 
and let him lead us to green pastures and beside still waters. Our lives are filled with hurry. Don't let your relationship with Jesus Christ be infected by that same attitude. Let your relationship with Christ be your oasis of rest and peace and joy. That's what it's supposed to be. 